Hey, we've had reports that the... Oh, yeah, the art gallery's been uh, taken over by protesters and shut down. So it's happening right now. We'll do it live. Hey, the boys in blue. Hello, hello, how are you? Hello, how are you, are you okay? Send me in there, I'll get them out. I'll drag them out. Look at this courteous police, look at that. Stand, look at all this equipment. Excellent. I don't know what's going on, but I'm sure it's exciting. Mr. Gallery Man, can I please get a statement for my news? Hello, 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 police man. Hello. Oh, Rhino. How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. I hope they sent you the message I gave you. Good stuff. Good to see you anyway. Nice on me. Sorry. Mr. Gallery Man, can I please get a statement for the media? Sorry, no comments. Okay. Okay, they send in the negotiation team. Go on, ladies. The WPCs are here to drag some protesters off some paintings. Negotiation team, on they go. Negotiation team. Okay, vacuum cleaners are getting a little bit, a little bit glamorous for my liking. Although, I am fantasizing about the suction on that head. <laughs> Look how times have changed. Now I'm welcome. Woohoo! Am I an influencer? I'm going to influence you to uh, just watch my next video. That's it. Anyone else that tries to influence you in other things is a propagandist. Want a selfie? No. So, everyone complaining about the cost of living crisis. This is Mary, Mary Antoinette. I say, you fucking plebs, stop being poor. You got no bread? We'll get back down the fucking food bank, you fucking chavvy little cunts. We know you spent it all on fucking Coke, Charlie, fucking weed and booze. And now you're like, oh, I need more money. I need more money. Stop being poor, you fucking chav. Hi. It's like, am I the only one that notices anything? So here we have Tesuti, Tesuti, practicing segregation. Segregation, you've got the whites on this side and the blacks on that side. And basically, when you mix the two colors, uh, they all come out pink. That's what I learned from doing laundry anyway. Here I am taking the absolute piss out of all the Trafford Center, and then they impress me with some Greek mythology. The goddess of magic, Circe, Circe, Kirky. How do I pronounce that, viewers? Anyway, she is the goddess of magic, and she is the loveliest of all immortals. Let's have a look at her. I guess she's the, she's the main alpha here with the two, uh, the two um, lesser goddesses. And she is providing a harvest of water, fountains. Now, you can see that the art was created before political correctness kicked in fully because they're, I guess, accurate and attractive depictions of the female form. If this had been uh, commissioned recently, they would be overweight, missing limbs, maybe have a chromosomal problem and would probably yeah it would probably be yeah you know what i'm saying you know the uh, top alpha in the lg tv 4k olympics these women would have balls is what i'm trying to say it just feels nice doesn't it oh yeah God damn it, Trafford Center. What kind of mall are you? This is a, a cult, religious, shopping, capitalist religion mall. 
I'm dizzy now. Let's pick one to stop on. Oh my god, I am dizzy. How about the lady with her breasticles? Let's, let's have a look at her. There you go. Bye! Hold on to my horns and let me wear you like a feedback. <laughs> Goodbye! Victoria and the blue ladies. Why are they blue? What does it say? In UK's national something. UK's. The what? Sorry, is it okay if I come a bit closer? And... So, this is the Miz and the Classic. All the other girls have gone back down. Just the Miz and the Classic. What is it? What is it? My apologies. It's a pageant. A beauty pageant? Yeah, well, it's a beauty pageant, but it's based on interview as well. Oh, so it's like Miss World, Miss Universe, but with a bit more brain power for the ladies. Yeah. I approve. Go feminism. Go ladies. I love the color blue. You're all doing well. Let me see if I can pick out the winner. The winner is going to be... Uh, you, you're gonna win. Yeah, yeah, this is a lady here with the red highlights. She's gonna win. Good luck, ladies. Bye bye. Go watch the Charlie Beach channel. This is the Charlie Beach show. It is indeed. Don't preach the beach. And what's your name, Tom? Tom. There you go. Listen, enjoy. Thank you. Spider Man. Whoa. Fell out of my shot there. Such beautiful graffiti at the stabbiest and uh, most violent corner in all of Manchester. And action. Oh no, that was a cut. Well, cut. Go on, ball man. Bring it up. Love it, ball man. Go on. Oh! oh I'm going to give him some money. Let me give him some money. I can't, I can't admire the ball man without giving him some cash. There you go, ball man. 70 feet. Nice. Thanks, my friend. Good, good luck. See ya. Thank you. Here's the interview with a vampire car. Urgent blood. Speed monitored. Blood. Blood. He is blood man. Blood man. Marvin, how are you, hey mate? Guys, I'm buzzing, Charlie. Good to see you. Man. Good to see you too. Charlie. Now, yeah. could you please tell all my viewers where you're going to appear on YouTube so, soon? So tomorrow night, I'm going on Apollo, which is a new upcoming channel, and then I'm going on Sean Atwood at, on Sunday at 6 p.m. A three-hour massive one. I was born in prison. I was abused as a child. I've been addicted to drugs. I've been shot, stabbed. I've been kidnapped. I've had my tongue nearly hanging out. Everything's happened to me, guys. You want to miss this one? And you also don't want to miss the Lad Bible interview with Marvin. It's got like yeah. five million hits now. I think one point three million. One point, uh, no, but you're, you're you're on the thumbnail, aren't you? It's you. Yeah, yeah me yeah. on the thumbnail. I've got one point three million views on the Lad Bible, and um, it's going really well. And I'm doing loads more. We're starting our own channel. So if you follow me, guys, on YouTube. Kira and Lee Marvin at Tell It All Podcast. Thanks, Lee Marvin man. and Kira, Tell It All Podcast. Thanks, Thank man. you, Charlie. Appreciate it. I Thank love you, bro. Love Bye. you too. I think the best way to describe one side of the culture war, the ideology war, is uh, to call them neo Bolsheviks. Uh, in a, obviously, we're alluding to Bolshevism, the movement in, uh, the, in, in Imperial Russia that got the Romanov uh, Tsar and his beautiful children executed, gunned to the head and shot dead. Now, it was a reversal of the natural order. Bolshevism was in fact, yeah, it was pulling the rug out. Hey, hello, mate, you okay? Bolshevism was pulling the rug out from underneath the hierarchy and stratified and probably very unfair and very, you know, probably a lot of mistreatment of the poor and the peasantry. Imagine being a Russian serf in the year 1905, how shit that would be. And you get treated by, like shit, you get treated like a slave. And these are the same people, you know, the lords, the bosses, the feudal lords, the czars, they're like, oh yeah, we're all Orthodox Christians, we love Jesus, we love Jesus. Now get back in the field, slave. And uh, I'll do another video as to why I think, why I feel Britain never fell victim to communism or fascism or Bolshevism. Maybe, just maybe, the landowners, the rich, the establishment in Britain had a little bit more sentimentality and care for their peasants, maybe. So when the isms came along, the peasants were like, fuck that. If I kill the boss, we're all going to starve. Like you fuckers did in Russia. You all starved or got sent to the gulag. So 
I see, you know, I get... God, how do I start the next sentence? So, there's an awakening going on. I don't mean no wanky spiritual awakening. Don't shake your fucking crystals. Don't become a vegan. Don't listen to Eckhart Tolle. I mean, there's a, 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 a consciousness, a, a psychological awakening that the majority of people are not winners in this unfair world. Whether they're ugly, whether they're fat, whether they've got bad genetics, so the opposite sex doesn't find them sexy. Quick, hello to Rianne. Hello, Rianne. How are you? She hates me now. Right. <laughs> so, you know, for people who are not happy, they don't feel the world is fair, and on top of it, they don't have the intelligence to, to reason why it seems unfair. You get things like incels, you get things like amputationism. That's what I'm going to call it, the movement to try and get prepubescent children to amputate. That is amputationism. It's exactly like child sacrifice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know Jordan Peterson made the illusion before I did, but it is exactly like child sacrifice. On top of that, there's a strong eugenics element. It's like the establishment does not want all the useless eaters to breed because it doesn't want more of you. So yeah, <laughs> amputationism is the answer. You can't breed if you've chopped it off. But coming back, why do I call them neo-Bolsheviks? It's a, a mass movement where they all get together and people who feel that they're going to lose out either sexually, fertility-wise, money-wise, social status-wise, but if the world becomes the new Soviet, these little suckers of the Marxist phallus actually believe that if they get a better position, they can be a commissar in the new culture. Under the LGTV4K flag, they can be important. They can have more opportunity. They can have more status. And that's all it is. They think they're making a fair world when in fact, the maths in their brain, that which drives them, the impetus of their will and determination as human beings is a selfish, dirty little cyborg inside them, convincing them that it's about egalitarianism, that it's about fairness, that it's about love. It was all about love and fairness when they took the little five-year-olds, the little three-year-old, beautiful Romanov children. Lenin told them to do this. Lenin said, shoot the little fuckers. And the stories go, depending where you read it from, that the pistol used to shoot these children in the head, it jammed a couple of times. Now imagine the horror. Imagine following that order. <laughs> Any society that starts with shooting five little children in the face is doomed to failure. And any neo-Bolshevism now that wants to convince children to amputate is doomed to failure. And you've got me as your main enemy.